In this video, I'm going to show you how to airbrush a really basic solar eclipse. Let's get into it right now. So I'm going to be using this template here by Rhino, the Blasted series. This is Circle Effects template. And I'm going to use this 2.25 inch circle here. First thing I'm going to do is mask up around this. So let's go ahead and do that now. And the way I'm prepping the surface is just a bit of copy paper, so A4, and some masking tape. And just putting the masking tape half over the edge. And this is how it's going to look once it's fully masked up. You can see the back of the template there. And I've fully protected around that particular circle. Now I have marked a center point so it's about six inches across so the canvas is 12 in total and then this particular one is 10 inches high so about five inches to the center that way it's easier to roughly line up where I want to go because I can't now see the outside edge and using white just trident I'm just lightly dusting over this I don't want to fully cover it just want to give it a light dusting and I'll explain why in a minute. So the reason I did the white, I'm going to use that template later to put my black back in. But now it's given me the size of the eclipse. So what I want to do now is from about, I'd say, five centimeters away roughly, I'm just going to do a fogging around the edge. And I'm also going to now put a few little strokes coming out. These can be nice and random. And a little bit heavier on the fogging. And a little bit sharper on some of these now. Now I'm going to add in some transparent orange. This is just orange trident mixed with transparent base and some reducer. And using that orange, I'm going to dust around the eclipse and tone that white that I've just laid down. Also go over some of these bits. Now using white, I want to create a brighter highlight around the edge. You can reline up your stencil to make sure that you're kind of hitting the right spot. What I can do is just do a light dusting on it again, and that's going to show me very subtly where I need to be going because that's where the black's going to sit. So anything in here is going to disappear. And with white, just build it up. very very slowly so just if you keep coating over it it's going to go brighter and you can follow along with whatever paints you have it doesn't necessarily have to be trident paint if you're using more transparent paints like the createx illustration colors then you won't need to mix them with a transparent base I'm just going to do a few uneven brighter sections around the edge it doesn't look as uniformed. And as for the reference image, this one is from Canva. So if you are using Canva, I just typed in solar eclipse. So you'll also find plenty of images of solar eclipses on Google, and you can get any one of those and just follow along. So now dusting over the white that I've just done with yellow, this is a transparent yellow. So again, transparent base mixed with reducer and Trident True Yellow. And you can see how much brighter that is now. Again, coating over it a few times. It's always a good idea to coat slowly and let the air dry the paint. And then as you move around, it's virtually dry by the time you get over there for a second coat. And grabbing the stencil once again, line it up. Pretty happy with that. And then we're going to dust the black over the top. So this is going to opaque everything underneath. And 
I mean, that looks cool as it is, but I want to make it look a bit better. So I'm going to just add in a brighter highlight on this area here. And you can see I've got a bit of overspray from the canvas because the canvas is textured. So it's blown under that template a little bit. It's all right. No need to stress. I'm going to do a bit of a specular highlight. Now I could just cut corners and hit it with some yellow and be done with it, but I don't think it's going to look as good as if I follow the same procedure as before. So I'm going to start off with the orange. Dust over where I've added in that highlight. Blend it back into my previous tone. And while I've got the orange, if I want, I can also tone in some of these to soften them off. So that it's not even all the way around. Just removing a bit of that yellow. Totally up to you if you want to do this. Just blending out that overspray from that highlight. And now coming back in with the white, I want to re-brighten on top, but this time I don't want to go as wide with the highlight because I want that orange overspray still to be there. And then up nice and close around the edge, blend that in again. Remembering that this is now going to be yellow. And if you do happen to go on to here again, you just have to re-black that out. That's why this is such a great exercise for everyone to have a go. Nice and easy, perfect for beginners. Again, just wherever you want it a bit brighter, come back in with that white. Now, working back over the top of those highlighted sections with the transparent yellow again, just to blend the design nicely. I'm letting some of my overspray hit that orange. So to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.